Chapman. Thank you for tuning in. Liverpool Football Club have won Group D of the Champions League with a game to spare, beating Ajax at home 1-0. What an important result, and you could see what it meant to Jurgen Klopp at the full-time whistle. Klopp, quick to hug, Keevan Kelleher. Kelleher with a 10 out of 10 performance. Absolutely brilliant from the young Irishman. He is a wonderful young talent. I'm not normally one to make a knee-jerk reaction, but here's one for you today. Adrian's career at Liverpool is over, thanks to Kelleher's incredible performance today. And, you know, Kelleher hardly put a foot wrong the whole game. I don't think he made truly a single significant mistake, and he made three truly outstanding saves that show he has the potential to become an elite keeper. And with the way Alisson Becker uh, gets hurt all the time, there could be plenty of game action in his future because Becker struggles so much to stay fit. It can be exasperating at times, his injury record at Liverpool, especially when we're talking about a keeper in particular. So Kelleher could really play an extremely important role for the Liverpool squad moving forward. He stepped up for a Liverpool defense that was frankly not at its best tonight. Fabinho caught out of position a few times, but no problem. It was also wonderful to see Nico Williams deliver a solid performance after all of the pathetic and disgusting abuse he has received at times on social media. He whipped in a great cross that Curtis Jones scored for the only goal of the match. Of course, Andre Onana, the Ajax keeper, made a huge mistake in terms of how he read the flight of the ball. And Jones made an extremely difficult tight angle finish look easy. But that's what the Scouser does. He makes the extraordinary look simple. And he's still only 19 years old. Can you believe that? He is only a teenager still and delivering terrific performances on the world's biggest stages. And Diogo Jota was outstanding in his own right for the 67 minutes plus that he was on the pitch tonight. He had some uh, great touches in close areas, even won a foul uh, while he was being marked by three Ajax players. I mean, he is Portugal's best player. I think that is pretty clear at this point. And Sadio Mane uh, delivered a solid performance on his own, both with making incisive attacking runs and by punching above his weight as an aerial threat like he always does. Mo Salah had plenty of touches tonight, but the end product was lacking. He struggled, especially with getting the ball onto his left foot. Perhaps a game like tonight could encourage Salah to work more on his right-footed finishing. Jordan Henderson did a great job of playing forward passes, you know, controlling the play, keeping the team calm and composed in some of those uh, challenging situations because Ajax is a team that loves to score goals. They scored 13 in one of their uh, domestic matches this season, so they were certainly not a foe to be taken lightly. And now, thanks to Midjulen surprisingly nicking a point against Atalanta, Liverpool don't even have to worry about their last match of the group stage. So players like Minamino, Shakiri, and Keita, if they're fit, you know, uh, Origi, any of these players who need a boost in confidence, who need a game, they can go to Germany at the neutral site venue where that match will be played and hopefully build on their confidence and give uh, Liverpool's regular players a much needed rest as Jota got in the second half. And Liverpool will have fans back at Anfield with 2,000 expected to be in attendance for the Wolves game on Sunday. Can't wait to see some of the Scousers uh, back at the Church of Football for all of us uh, Liverpool supporters and the Reds pick up a great result tonight and will continue their march towards a seventh Champions League title. Thank you so much for tuning in and please subscribe to my channel.